Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, September the 1st. Happy Labor Day to those of you in the United States. It's the 12th week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 9, and Job chapter 12, verse 1 through 6, and 13 through 25. And please join me in singing the second verse, of Isaac Watts' paraphrase of Psalm 100 to the tune of Old 100. Nations attend before God's throne with solemn fear and sacred joy. No O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I praise you, my God, with my whole, whole heart. I show forth all your marvelous works. Alleluia. Psalm 9. And please join in reciting together with me. Alleluia, I praise you, my God, with my whole heart. I show forth all your marvelous works. I am glad and rejoice in you. I sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sit in the throne, judging right. You have rebuked the heathen. You have destroyed the wicked. You have erased their name forever and ever. The enemy is perpetually ruined, and you have destroyed their cities, and their memory perishes with them. But you, God, shall endure forever. You have prepared your throne for judgment, and you shall judge the world in righteousness administer judgment to the people in equity. You are a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know your name will put their trust in you. For you, God, have not forsaken them that seek you. Sing praises to God who dwells in Zion. Declare among the people God's doings. God, the avenger of blood, remembers them. God does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O God. Consider my trouble which I suffer because of them that hate me. You lift me from the gates of death that I may show forth all your praise. In the gates of daughter Zion, I rejoice in your salvation. The ungodly have fallen into the pit that they made into the net which they hid, their own foot is taken. You are known by your judgments. The wicked are ensnared in the work of their own hands. The wicked shall be returned to hell, all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the expectation of the poor perish forever. Rise, God, let not the ungodly prevail. Put the heathen be judged in your sight. Put them in fear that the nations may know themselves to be but mortal. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I praise you, my God, with my whole heart. I show forth all your marvelous works. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Job, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. And then Job answered, No doubt you are the people, and wisdom will die with you. 
but I have understanding as well as you. I am not inferior to you. Who does not know such things as these? I am a laughing stock to my friends. I who called upon God, and God answered me, a just and blameless man. I am a laughing stock. Those at ease have contempt for misfortune, but it is ready for those who feet, whose feet are unstable. The tents of robbers are at peace, and those who provoke God are secure, who bring their God in their hands. With God are wisdom and strength. He has counsel and understanding. If he tears down, no one can rebuild. If he shuts someone in, no one can open up. If he withholds the waters, they dry up. If he sends them out, they overwhelm the land. With him are strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. He leads counselors away stripped and makes fools of judges. He loses, looses the sash of kings and binds a waist cloth on their loins. He leads priests away stripped and overthrows the mighty. He deprives of speech those who are trusted and takes away the discernment of the elders. He pours contempt on princes and looses the belt of the strong. He uncovers the deeps out of darkness and brings deep darkness to light. He makes nations great and then destroys them. He enlarges nations and then leads them away. He strips understanding from the leaders of the earth and makes them wander in a pathless waste. They grope in the dark without light, and he makes them stagger like a drunkard. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Tim and Richard, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who die, especially Philip, Marilyn, and Wayne, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, we pray. Hear us, tender God that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions, we pray. Hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Be our refuge in times of trouble, O God, and defend us from all evil. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.